Good morning. Thanks for joining us here for Good Day Connecticut on WCCT this morning. We have experienced an outage. We're having some problems on Fox 61. So again, we are broadcasting on WCCT, but you can always get your news also on our Facebook page and on our Fox 61 news app. Well, we're talking about a big, exciting event happening this weekend. It is Open House Day sponsored by Connecticut Landmarks. That means there is free admission to a lot of our state parks and museums. There's a lot happening all across our state. Cheryl Hack from Connecticut Landmarks is joining us to talk all about it. And Eileen Novick, project manager from Hempstead House is with us as well, along with Dwight Baldwin. We're gonna be hearing the uh, sounds from Dwight all the, during this segment, but we're talking about a lot of fun stuff, a lot of great events, free events for families, right Cheryl? Absolutely. So, you know, we always look forward to Connecticut Open House Day. And uh, this year it's Saturday, June 10th. And our beautiful Butler McCook property here in Hartford that you're very familiar with, Erica, yes. um, is open free that day, as is um, our Phelps Hathaway House and Garden in Suffield, and our Nathan Hale Homestead in Coventry, and of course, our Hempstead Houses in New London are celebrating Juneteenth. Yeah, there's a lot going on there this weekend. Talk a little bit more about the details on that. Yeah, it's from noon to four. We're going to have a lot of free entertainment as well as the houses being open. Dwight Baldwin will be there with his band, Shades of Joy. We have DJ Frank Lowe from New London who will be emceeing the event. We have different children's groups performing. We have different women portraying historical characters. Harriet Tubman will be there. Joan Jackson, an enslaved and free woman from New London. Um, so it should be a great time. The OIC across the street will have food and the NAACP is our co-sponsor. That's a great event. Now, Cheryl, as I mentioned, the events are happening all across the state. We can't mention all of them. We're going to have them on our website for you, so you can click on it and go through them. But talk about some of the big ones. Yeah, so on Saturday, actually, we're not open free for... Um Connecticut Open House Day at the Bellamy Fairday House and Garden because we are welcoming New York Times bestselling author Martha Hall Kelly. And she wrote a book about Caroline Faraday, who gave us the Bellamy Fairday House and Garden and her work to help Nazi concentration camp survivors after World War II. So it's a big event on Saturday. It's actually sold out, but your listeners uh, would be interested, I think, to know that on July 15th, we have um, an additional date. That so and and all the information is on our website at ctlandmarks.org. Now, what's interesting is that a lot of these landmarks, a lot of them, they have been updated through the years. So if you've been to one a couple years back, this is a great opportunity to head back there and see what's new, see what's been updated, right? Well, and Erica, on Sunday, we're cutting the ribbon for our Nathan Hale Homestead Barnes renovation project. So that's an opportunity for people to come and see the beautiful new facilities um, that we've, that we've um, created at that property as well. Well, 10 o'clock in advance of the Coventry Farmers Market, which starts at 11 o'clock that morning. And talk a little bit more about the Lilac Girls event. Yeah, so uh, Lilac Girls, um, many, many women in Connecticut and uh, men as well have been reading this book, um, which really looks at the history of World War II and the aftermath um, from the point of view of Caroline Faraday, who was volunteering at the French consulate in New York, and uh, then uh, a German doctor, a young girl growing up in Germany, and a Polish woman as well. So um, Martha Hall Kelly has a wonderful website that talks about her work. And again, on July 15th, we'll be welcoming folks to the property. Again, Bellamy Faraday House and Garden in Bethlehem. Now school is winding down just another week or so for kids. It's important to know that there's a lot of events that kids can get involved in all summer, all across the state. Absolutely. At these and, state parks and, and landmarks. Uh, we have wonderful camps coming up. Yes. So uh, yeah. Aileen, one in New London. Yeah, we have one in New London um, the last day of July into the first week in August. It's a five-day camp, and I know Hale Homestead in Coventry and Suffield, um, our Phelps Hathaway House, both have camps. So they're five days immersive experiences where the kids get to do a lot of hands-on activities. And, of course, people can register at our website, ctlandmarks.org. Awesome. Thank you all for coming here. Also, you too, Dwight. Thanks for the <laughs> accompanying drum music as well. Fantastic. And of course, all the information, more details. If you want to see the segment again, just head to our website and uh, you can get it all there also on our Fox 61 News app. But stay with us.